Hello and welcome back to Farming with Bud. Today we'll be growing the M16 A1 steak sauce variant. Start as we always do by digging a small hole in the ground, clearing away all the foliage that might be in your way. After you've scathed a suitable amount of land, you'll need the new but retro dot 223 seed cartridge. Next, place the seed haphazardly in the hole. We'll let the trial test be done in the field. Hopefully we don't have powder problems later. Next, add a soil containing pulverized watermelons from Curtis LeMay and Bobby McDonald's tests. Good luck getting it. Uh-oh, looks like a stoner's caught wind of the rotting watermelon in high efficiency. Looks like Eugene Krabs has designed you the perfect Palmer poodle shooter. Now, I know there's a trend towards smaller and lighter arms, but... This is getting a little excessive. I think we should put this back in the ground and let it grow a little longer. Gently place small but deadly back in the ground. Looks like we got a letter from Blue's Clues in the mail. Oh, hooray! It's a free all-inclusive vacation to a tropical getaway for an entire year. Let's place it on the plant. Your seedling looks like it's coming along quite nicely, but remember, it's always important to add some fertilizer. Since we're going to the rice fields, we might as well get a head start. Add some rice to get the calories your seedling needs to grow. After about 16 days, I guarantee you you've got something that your enemy hasn't seen before. Though it's still a little bit too small to even be used for a deer hunter. And there's just too many other plants surrounding it. We need to do something about this. Oh wait, hold on. I smell some debauchery. What's going on here? Something's been robbing nutrients from our plant. It's just as I suspected. The local ant population has taken upon itself to create a Ho Chi Minh trail to steal your rice. How rude. We really need to do something about this problem. Get your hands on some Secret Agent Orange and douse your plant in the surrounding area with it. We were going to call 007, but he's a little too expensive to hire, and he's also copyrighted. Are you drinking that? For the love of God, I really don't recommend putting that in your mouth. Splooge the rest of it on the seedling, why not? Oh yeah, it's all coming together. After another nine weeks of basic training, Pat McNamara's wet dream, I mean our seedling, is coming to fruition. But the question is, is the fruition fruiting? Remember, if you ask nicely, you can check. Gently remove the seedling from the ground. Next, give your pecker, I mean seedling, a good yank. Next, gently remove the magazine. I said gently, it's tender. As you can see, the fruiting body is absolutely stuffed with more of an efficacious dose of seeds and Gorilla Mine Nootropic formula. Or gently replace the fruit and seedling back to the soil. We have further planting we need to plant. Next, we're going to add some genuine napalm liquid fertilizer to our sapling. Please don't do this in your multiverse. In my reality, I am reality. And unlike you, I have total control over what happens- Oh jeez, here we go! Our poor sapling is doomed. You've destroyed it. All this hard work, it's over, it's going to melt, it's all done for. Good job. You failure. Although, I must admit, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to it yet. It's almost like it's enhancing it. Man, you smell that? Can you smell that? Of course you can't, but I can. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know that smell, that gasoline smell. Nothing in the world smells like that. It smells like pure gasoline. Okay, perhaps it's time we extinguish it. Time to extinguish, okay. Something's not right here. Oh, wait a minute, that's right. We use napalm. It's not just gonna go out. Genius idea. As if the secret agent orange wasn't enough, it appears the napalm is also depriving the vegetation of the surrounding area. I ain't no fortunate son. Now the smoke is blowing in my face. This is starting to become a real nuisance. We need to figure out a way to extinguish this nether rack. Why don't we just try blowing on it again? That seems to have worked in the past. Though I admire your tenacity, this is like trying to put out the ball rod with a bucket of water. As Robbie Rotten would say, let's try something else. Wow, that worked surprisingly well. Who would have imagined more soil equals less fire? I'm no mathematician, but that formula makes sense to me, compadre. Make sure the sapling is standing. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Well, if you're ever on fire, it looks like rolling in the dirt works pretty well. Next, to keep the seedling insulated, request a dry sock from Lieutenant Dan. He'd be more than happy to give it to you because he doesn't have legs anymore. Finally, at long last, after five weeks and 56 days, it's here. A sock filled with soap to whack Gomer Pyle. Just kidding. It's the M16 A1 Steak Sauce Edition. Remove the sock and proceed to inspect the plant. No need to be gentle anymore. If you want to go ahead and harvest your tree, you're more than ready to. It's done. Hopefully you've been drinking your Ovaltine because your next stop is Yadrang Valley with Mel Gibson. No need to worry though. Just keep your tree hard and your powder dry and the world will turn. And to think they said my methods were unsound. Do you think this is unsound? Look what you've gotten out of this. I mean, it's fully functioning and oops. Well done, fellow farmer. 
You should be proud of your lightweight, air-cooled, gas-operated, magazine-fed, shoulder-fired weapon that fires a 5.56mm ball projectile at 3,200 feet per second. It's not an onion, Mason. The real woods would never say that. By the way, nothing is over. Nothing. You just can't turn it off like that. They're in the trees.